Hey you guys, today we are gonna do a really fun and popular mushroom painting. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna use a large canvas so you can see it better. This one is 16 by 20 and the little baby one over there, that's eight by 10. So you could do this any size. First, I'm gonna sketch it out with a pencil, okay? And again, you guys can use anything that you want to, but I'm gonna sketch out with pencil and then I'm gonna go over it with Sharpie so you can see it better. So I'm gonna start with my canvas being vertical and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room. Can you see that? Like do it like that. I'll go over it with Sharpie so you can see it better. So I'm just sketching it out and then we're going to start with a big mushroom. Okay. Let me go over with Sharpie so you can see it better. So here's my Sharpie and all right, I've got to make sure it's nice and juicy. So I'm just going to, I sketched it out, but I'm going to go over it so you can see it better. That was a mistake. I just did a little splooch there, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to use acrylic paint and it's going to cover it. There we go. And I'm not going to do the details yet. I'm going to do the details later. Okay. And I'm going to put like a little baby mushroom over here. And I'll put another one over here, maybe a little bit bigger. You guys can add as many as you want to. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, that's it. That's it. I'm not going to add any more details to it. So I'm using acrylic paint today. I usually like to put my acrylic paint on a styrofoam plate and I start with a dry paint brush. So I'm going to use a green. Now you guys can make your green as dark or as light as you want to. So I'm going to do it darker around the edges. And you can, of course, vary your painting however you want. But I do like it a little bit darker around here. And what I like to do, I like to mix right on my canvas to paint the edges. So I'm just going to kind of go all the way around. And it doesn't have to be even and we're not going... We're not going for perfection here, you guys. This is fun art, not fine art, all right? All right. I wanna make sure you guys can see me okay. Say hi if you guys can see me okay. So on my screen, it's like black. Well, we're just gonna keep going. All right, see how I'm just kind of doing it around the edge? And again, you can make it as dark as you want to. Now, what if I wanted to make it a little bit more yellow? I can easily, again, I'm not even going to mix it right on my canvas. I'm just going to take some yellow on my paintbrush and I'm going to mix it right on the canvas. I like that. I like to see the brush strokes. I like to just see how pretty, what kind of colors I could make. And if you want it to be lighter, you can add some white to it. So this is more of a yellow green here. And again, you can see my brush strokes. I like that look. And 
Okay. And I'm just going to show you if you wanted to make it a little bit lighter. You could just scoop. I didn't even wash it off. I just scooped up some white and I'm going to mix it right in there. And I just keep blending out. So I'm going to do my entire background. I'm going to skip, you know, around my mushroom. I'm going to make it a little bit darker in here just for some shading. So this part's going to be a little bit darker. Again, I haven't even washed off my brush yet. And then you could start to add some white or some yellow. Makes it more interesting than just having a flat color background. Right? And if you could still see the texture of the canvas, those little white grid, you should add a little bit more paint to it. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit more yellow down here. Get that background all covered. We can add some grass later. We can add some flowers to it. Whatever you guys want. So this is just, you know, very fresh, fun summer painting. Pretty simple. This is great to do on your own or with your friends and family. Again, I went inside the line. I'm not going to worry about it because we're using acrylic paint. So it's really easy to fix. Make it as dark or as light as you want to. I think, you know, one of the things that I love most about painting is mixing colors and really not planning on what color I'm going to get. Just let it be a surprise. So again, as you scoop up white, it's going to turn it lighter. And I just like to blend it right on there. Happy little mushroom. Well, I actually got a few. Happy little green background. You could put a little fairy sitting on your mushroom or a gnome. See how different the backgrounds look? Because we're making fun art, not fine art. Fun art. And it dries really quick depending on the humidity level. So right now here it's pretty dry and I, that's why it's drying quicker. So if it's really humid, it's gonna take longer to dry. That's why I'm not gonna paint the inside of my mushroom yet because it'll take longer to layer it. What do you think? And again, I can put some grass over it. I just want to get the whole background done first. You hear the texture of the canvas back there.
And notice how I've switched the direction of my paintbrush too. Because I get, I think the brush strokes actually make it more interesting. Give it some texture. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to get up all the way to the bottom of my mushroom down here. All right. There you go. Pretty good. And you could even make it darker if you wanted to. So let's just say I even want to make my uh, edges a little bit darker. I can go around it again like that. Or I can even add a little bit of black to it. So I'll just show you what a little bit of black looks like. So again, I didn't even wash off my brush. I just scooped up some black paint and put it right on there. So you see the difference? So it's almost like I'm creating a little bit of a frame around the edge. Don't have to, it's just an option. I like to give everybody options. So if you like that look, you can add it here and there. If you don't like it, you can just go over it, blend it in. See that? I can add a little bit of yellow in here, blend it in there, soften it up. All right, there's my background. What do you think? And you know, you can always, if there's something you don't like, the best part about acrylic is if you let it dry, you can go over it. So if you did something that you don't like, just be patient, let it dry, and then go over it. Okay, so then the next part, is I am going to do the red part. So I am going to use a different brush that's a little bit smaller and I'm gonna paint the top part. I'm not gonna worry about the white spots. I'm gonna just paint and now I've got a little bit of green in there, but get you know what happens if I bump into the wet green? It's gonna look like shading, watch this. See, it looks like I shaded my mushroom. So here's the, another really good thing about acrylics is, no one knows your mistakes but you. So that's what I would do. I would just paint over that wet green and it would become a shade of my mushroom cap. So this is the top part. And I'm going to add the white spots once the red is dry. And it won't take long, like I said. So that's why I'm not going to sit there and draw all the spots and then paint around it. It'd take forever. I don't have that kind of patience. So maybe I even go out a little bit more on this side. You can make your mushrooms as big as or as small as you want. And you could add as many as you want. So while I have the red, on, and I didn't wet my brush. And while I have the red on there, I'm going to do this baby one over here. That'll be my little baby one. And I'm painting right over that Sharpie marker. And then this one can be a little bit bigger. Okay, there's my tops to my mushrooms. I'm gonna curve this one a little bit more. See how I can paint right over the acrylic? That's why I love it so much. I can paint right over it. They actually look like they're falling over, don't they? Because I'm painting from the side, so it looks like they're kind of crooked. I'm going to stick my head in front just for a second to see if I can make them not be so crooked. Does that look a little bit better? And I can also change my... So you got a little bit of green on there, so I can always add another layer to it later. All right, so there, that's that part. Now I am going to do the base, like a tan. So if you have brown, you guys can add some white to it, depending on what color brown you want to use. You can add some yellow to it if you want it to be a little bit more yellow brown. You can add some white to it.
See that? I'm going to show you if I wanted to put some brown in there again and make it, you know, a little bit more. Well, you could see like the lightness and darkness of the brown. And I could just mix it right on there. I'll just scoop up some more white and show you. So now in my brush stroke, I'm going vertical like this. See that? And I accidentally went into the red. I'll touch it up later. It's not a big deal. We love our happy little accidents, don't we? Okay. I just want to make sure you guys can see that okay. Okay. And then the same thing with the little cap underneath it. I'm going to make this one a little bit more brown. Because it's like the underside of the mushroom. And then we could add some lines to give it that mushroom cap texture. So I always work from the background to the foreground. So all the little details are just last. I love using acrylics because they're water-based, they're non-toxic, they're washable while they're wet. It takes about 24 hours for the paint to set. So if you get on your clothes, you could wash it within 24 hours and it will come out. But mostly I love blending colors and I love, if I make a mistake, which I do a lot, I can go over it and fix it. Okay, and I'm gonna do these little guys here. And I'll do the other one on the other side. It's a little bit wider at the base and it gets narrower as you go up top, okay? And don't worry if you get green in there. Remember, that could be part of your shading. All right, there you go. And again, I'm not worried about the lines. Oh, I got some red in there. Look, so I'm going to mix it right in there. And then no one knows. Shh, it's our secret. Is that funny? Okay, so once we start outlining it, you can cover up all those little mistakes. I'm actually going to make this mushroom cap a little bit wider here. I feel like it needs to be wider. I'm going to give myself a little bit more red. It's probably a little bit too narrow at the top. And if you don't like that green in there, you can always go over it again later. There, that looks a little bit better, I think. Right? Because that's the whole point of the painting. Now, again, if you are going to add something else to it, like a fairy or a gnome or more mushrooms, maybe it's not that big. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course I have to sneeze right when I'm doing this, right? Well, it is spring after all. I definitely uh, sneeze more in the spring when things are sprouting like mushrooms. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's go. All right, so now let's see what I'm going to do next. So now I'm going to let that part dry. I don't want to do my white dots yet. If you guys want to add like purple flowers, you can add some purple flowers. Purple's my favorite color. So... You know, sometimes purple looks pretty dark on the camera. So I like to add a little bit of white to it so it looks more purple. Can you see that? Okay, you can add some flowers. You can put some daisies down there. Give it a little bit more color. There's no right or wrong. See that? So I'm going to show you guys without the white. I'm going to just keep it on my brush, but so there's a little bit darker. See that? 
giving out just a little bit of texture. There we go. Okay, you can put it, the purple wherever you want to. I can put a little bit of purple down here. I could even add some over here if I wanted to. I can make it go all the way across. There, how's that? Okay, now, and again, I don't want you guys to outline it until the end. So probably with one of your smaller brushes, that's what you're going to do your dots with, okay? And they're organic. It's an organic shape, so you don't want them to be perfectly circular. And I know my red's not dry, but I just want to give you an idea. You can make your spots go off the edge like that. Give it probably a little bit more time to dry. Like that. You could have the baby dots on the baby one. Don't make it look like a pattern, right? Because this is an organic thing. I'm just looking at my other painting. When it's a little bit more dry, I'll make them a little bit better, but I don't want you guys to have to wait forever for my mushrooms to be done. So again, add all those white dots. You don't have to be up on it easily. You can easily lay yours flat on the table, but it is nice to have an easel. Oop, I just got a white splotch where I didn't mean to. Right there. I did not mean to do that. I'm not going to panic about it. I'll just fix it up later. Happy little accidents we make all the time. So this is a really popular painting right now. And again, you guys can do as many little dots as you want to, as long as it doesn't look too much like a pattern. And you can make them different sizes. Okay. And then un the underneath part of the mushroom, you can do black, but you need little skinny, tiny lines radiating out from your cap. So let me fix this a little bit right here. Right here, I want this in the background too. So the stem doesn't come all the way up. Okay. And then, again, you can add these little lines in brown. I'm going to do them in black just so you can see them better. You can use dark brown. And then you'll have the little baby ones right here. All right, now I'm going to show you guys really quick how an outline will change your mixture because it changes it dramatically. That's why so many times people want to jump right into the black, but I always say wait till the end for the black. Okay, so watch. This is how I clean up my lines. I just outline everything. Now, if you feel like your fine motor is not that great, instead of using a thin brush with black paint, you can always outline with a Sharpie. Now, the key to outlining with a Sharpie is you have to wait for it to be dry. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your marker, okay? So once your picture is dry, you can go back and outline everything. Again, when it's, when it's outlined, it just totally changes the painting. See that?
and I can paint over that white dot later. I just wanted to show you guys how different it's going to look once it's got the outline on it. Oh, I just went into the green. And you get the idea, right? So I just want to say, you guys keep creating, make art, have fun. That's the most important thing. And you know, like painting is like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Okay. So whether it's cooking or, you know, learning a language or reading or writing or anything, really, it takes practice. And painting is the same way. It's just like learning something new, but it is relaxing if you just let go of trying to be perfect and have fun, because that's really what it's about. Oh, let me outline that little mushroom camp here. And then once everything's dry, I'll go back and touch up anywhere that I don't like, add some details to it. And there you go. All right, you guys. Thanks for creating with me. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I love acrylics. I'm painting. This one is 16 by 20. Okay. And this little baby one is 8 by 10. Okay. So you can do any size. You can make it as big or as small as you want to. Just keep creating. Have fun. Let go of, you know, perfectionism. Enjoy the spring and summer. I'll see you guys again real soon.